Let's now take a look at rounding. So we've got the number 17.16395 and we're rounding to one decimal place. Now when we're rounding to one decimal place, what we're really interested in is the value of the second decimal place. So let's just, meet, just write this number again. So 17.16395. We're really only interested in this value here, the six. The 395, we can completely forget about. Now, if this number here is five or greater, then the, then the column to the left of it is gonna move up one. Here, the number is six, which is greater than five. So this is gonna round up to 17.2. To two decimal places, we're interested in the value of the third decimal place. So whichever decimal place we're rounding to, we're always needing to take a look at the decimal place that is to the right of the fourth or the third or the second decimal place. So here we're interested in the third decimal place. So the number is 17.16395 still. So we're interested in the third decimal place. That is the three. And here, because this is less than five, then we are just gonna round down to and leave it at 17.16. To three decimal places, we're interested in the value of the fourth decimal place. So we're interested in the value of the digit here. We couldn't care less about the five, let's just forget about that. And because nine is five or more, it's greater than five, then the column to the left is gonna move up one. So this will round up to 17. 0.164 and to four decimal places I'd be very surprised if you ever asked to round to four decimal places but if you can round to one decimal place you can round to 252 decimal places if you need to it's the same technique one 17.16395 so if we're rounding to four decimal places we need to look at the value of the fifth decimal place which is the five and because this is a five we round up. When it's five, you always round up. So this will mean that the nine rounds up to, right, this is a bit tricky because here the the nine looks like it can't round up. But what we're gonna do is uh, look at the, I guess the three and the nine, and that will round up to four and a zero. So to four decimal places, it would be one, seven, one, six, four, zero. And in this case, the zero does need to be there. Um, 17.1640 has the same value as 17.164, but if you say what 17.164, you only have three decimal places. So we have to keep the zero in so that we actually have four decimal places because that's what the question is asking. When we're rounding to the nearest whole number, so we're rounding to the nearest unit, so we're looking to the we're looking at the value of the column that is to the right of the units. So here we're looking at the tenths column. And here 6.2, this number here is less than 10. So that will round down to six. This is probably quite easy for a lot of people. Just think of it as 6.2 is between six and seven. It's nearer six than seven, so we'll round it down to six. So to the nearest whole number, again, that's to the nearest unit. This is the units column. So we're looking at the value of the digit in the column immediately to the right. So that's the tenths column. So 13.7 here, this is a seven. So we're going to round up to 14. 13.7 is between 13 and 14. It's close to 14, so that's why we're rounding to 14. And here 8.5, again, we're looking at the first decimal place. And because it's a five, we're gonna round up. Not When it's a five, you always round up, not down. So that is that becomes nine. When you're rounding to the nearest 10, so here is our tens column. That means we need to look at the value that is in the column to the right, which is the units column. Here, the three is less than five, so that will round down to 160. 389, here is up to the nearest 10. This is the tens column, so we're looking at the value of um, the units column, which is a nine. Because nine is more than five, we're gonna round up, so that will become 390. Again, with these two, you can think that 163 is between the 10 of 160 and the 10 of 170 is closer to 160. 389 is between 380 and 390, closer to 390. In this final example here, we're rounding to the nearest 100. Here is my hundreds column. So we need to take a look at the value of the column immediately to the right, which is the tens column. And here, um, the, the six makes no difference whatsoever. So the because here we've got a five, we're gonna round up. So that's gonna round up to one, nine, and the rest are gonna be zeros, zero, zero. 
1856, that is between 1800 and 1900, but because it's 56, we're rounding up to 1900. That's another way of looking at it.